Hi, this is a restoration of a Jubilee fruit machine. Hello, this is the Jubilee Desicoin one arm Bandit from the late 1960s. Uh, what I'm actually doing is just stripping it down and I'm going to try and restore it. And as I've been stripping it down I've actually found a few hidden nickel gems and I'm going to completely change the look of the fruit machine and try and make it look a bit better than it did. It was a bit retro plastically looking and try and give it a bit more of a Star Trek theme because there's a few little whiz in the bangs that was hidden behind some of the panels so I'm going to try and bring those back into it when I've repainted it so at the moment I'm just taking off all the plastic fronts and all the chrome work and I'm going to take it in the shed, rub it down and paint it so we'll have a look at that and see how it looks very shortly but that's how it looks at the moment, P poor old state really but it's getting there slowly now when I bought this fruit machine the lower cash drawer box is missing, or was missing. Uh, it was originally made of uh, metal and uh, so what I've actually had to do is make one. Now the cash drawer had the pace slide shoot tray automatically built into it. So what I've done is I've actually made something, made a pay ramp so the pay drop coins just drop down and then there's where the coins drop into. It's all made of timber but it's perfectly adequate. It's not going to be in active service. The original coin tray and the box actually went further back inside that area there but I've just made it a bit smaller but it still does the same thing and when it's painted it'll look quite good and also the, the bottom front was missing that held the, the coin tray into position and I've actually made this out of timber using photographs off the internet I'll be making that and that actually fits inside there just lift it up like that and then it should have a lock just underneath it but I'm not going to worry about that at this point so when it's finished it'll look pretty much how it should have done when it was in service Now I'm just opening up the machine here so you can see inside. Now what I've done, the original electrics for the machine are actually still there and they actually still work. Uh, obviously they need to be tested out. We have got a couple of bits of problems with it. It needs to be sorted out. A bit of rewiring probably. But I'm pretty sure we can get that back to working state. I've taken off all the cabling and all the insides, all the screws and everything that holds the plastic fronts and chrome work on. They've all been removed, ready to take this off. Just going to remove the uh, the hinge with the pneumatic uh, arm there that uh, basically keeps it up pretty much like the modern day machines. Uh, they've actually actually put those on the modern day machine, all front opening casing. The um, the coin entry has been removed, as you can see. 
that's really that's all holding it together. There's a couple of screws where the hinges are, they'll be unscrewed. The pins will be pulled out and then hopefully the whole top will come off and I can rub it down and paint it. So we'll have a look and see how it looks when I've done that. Now here's the crown front that was on the front of the machine. Now there are some trim strips that go across the front of that, so I've got them over on one side at the moment. I've had some purse bits cut to size to fit one that was damaged. Um, I'm going to try and restore it to how it was, but the, this particular piece of purse is not too bad condition, just needs a good clean, and I'll probably reuse that. Uh, a bit dark in here, but uh, you can just make out that's the original front uh, decal of the machine. Desicoin is what it was called. It's based on a Concorde theme. Uh, I just wanted to show you. A bit, a bit fragile, it's a bit, uh, a bit dated. As you can see, there's a bit of damage to the front there. We're going to get that restored and redone um, based on Concorde. And if you get three Concords on the pay line, you get the jack part, which is around 100 coins. Um, in this particular tube that's fitted to this machine, there are parts missing which has got to be re uh, recreated to get that authentic jackpot working. Um, the jackpot So the tubes here are the jackpot tubes and uh, they're both filled with coins. They can be uh, a shilling, 5 new P, uh, or even the, the new 10 pence that fits quite well in there. Unfortunately it doesn't accept the 10 pence piece at the moment. It has to have a a change to that, but um, that's the entry for the uh, 5 new P coin. It also works on the shilling. Two poles for a shilling or 5 new P. If you fit, insert a 10 pence, it just gets jammed in there. But we can get a new one of those changed and then get it working on 10 pence pay. And uh, the tubes could be filled with anything you want, really. Any cups of, you could probably put a pound coin in those tubes, uh, making the jackpots quite playable, really. We're not going to make any changes to that. Down here, if I just move that out of your way, across here, there should be a bar coming off that, going onto this lever here. Um, when the jackpot is won, the coin slide will drop forward towards the tube, and then the, this bar will be pushed because it's connected to that. And then when that bar is pushed, the coin will drop out into the tray below, giving you the jackpot. All done by mechanics, no electrics. Right, so what I've done here, I've actually taken the uh, the top completely away from the machine for spraying. The uh, the door and the coin entry uh, part for the top has been completely removed from the machine now. And now I've got the door on the floor. I've brought that down ready for painting. And next door in the other shed I've just sprayed one of the parts from the top. I'll just take you around. Okay, so we've just sprayed this uh, using an enamel spray. I've tried to keep the original colour. I was contemplating on spraying it blue, uh, sorry, silver, uh, give it more of a retro Star Trek look. But I was thinking uh, the paint that I've got is enamel and it would be a lot stronger than just a normally silver paint. So there you go, I've just sprayed that. Let's go have a second coat.